Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for another contest video. There are quite a few within the comic book community, and I'm trying to limit myself to doing a video a day. Um, so I'm trying to get caught up on all these uh, contests people have. This particular one is going to be for Charlton66. He is celebrating his 100 subscriber mark. I want to start off by saying congratulations on hitting 100 subscribers. And for his giveaway, uh, he has a few simple requests. He wants you to do a shout out to a couple YouTubers who are under 150. I've been doing a lot of shout outs to people under 150, so I'm running out of names. <laughs> or I, am, uh, I need to find some more folks that are new to the community uh, so I can start doing some more. Speaking of new to the community, um, and new to my channel, um, I'm going to do a shout out to a couple of guys that just recently uh, subscribed to me. Uh, Wolf and Fox 77 and Cable Comics. Along with Charlton 66, I will leave a link to all three of these uh, channels down in the description down below. The one thing that Charlton 66 asked for the giveaway was if you could only pick out one comic that you would give to somebody who is a non-comic book reader to show your ideas and passions about collecting comics, what would that one comic book be? It seems, seems like an easy request. But it's very difficult and hard thinking. You got to think in terms of somebody who has no interest in comic books. Um, I decided to go with one that you're currently looking at for several reasons. Uh, Superman and Batman are very large cultural characters outside of comic books themselves. They've been in movies and TV for years, so people are familiar with both characters. I, it, 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 it may come as a surprise that this is my choice to people that are familiar with my interest in comic books, because um, I don't really show a lot of DC books. I'm not a fan of Superman. Um, I think he's too much of a Boy Scout. Um, I do like Batman, but don't have much of a collection uh, with respect to him, um, so I'm nowhere near an expert on Batman. Um, but with that said, I really like this particular book. And if I'm going to give somebody a single book to read, it's going to be a one-shot. Um, if you give somebody a comic book that is in the middle of an arc, beginning of an arc, end of an arc, they're only going to get part of a story, um, which may be kind of a disappointing way to lead them into comic books as well. You're only allowed to read one. Well, how does it end? Where does it go? Why are they doing this? So what you really need to give them is a book that encompasses a single story, one one-shot book. Now, conceptually for this particular book, it's a Superman book called Speeding Bullets, where they decide to take the idea of Superman actually being found rather by the Kents, instead were found by the Waynes and raised as though he were Bruce Wayne rather than Clark Kent. So you have Superman growing up and going through the same kind of life experiences that Batman had, but with Superman's powers. Um, and it was kind of a interesting, like I said, I, I find it a very interesting concept to take, a, it's, a, it's a what if. What if Superman had been raised by the Waynes? He would have become, you know, Superman, he would have become Batman. Um, and I like the idea of kind of twisting the story, t taking an, an idea and a concept um, and taking a different perspective on it. The what ifs, what if something happened? And it is all within this one book. So I think somebody 
might enjoy, like I said, this particular story. Even, like I said, me, I'm not a Superman fan, but I like this book because I'm a Batman fan. And you take Superman and turn him into Batman. I like the idea. I like uh, the, the book here. And I think this would be a good one for somebody to be introduced to the world and possibilities of stories and characters uh, within the uh, realm of comic books. And like I said, I... I I, th I think, think those that know the books that I like, I'm, I'm more of a, uh, <laughs> I like things that are a little less superhero-y. Um, I, I, I love my Vertigo. I love um, some of the image comic books and stories that are out there that I'm currently reading right now. So this kind of is off the beaten path and probably unexpected for me, but I think this would, would be good for somebody who is uh, just getting into the idea of checking out comic books. Anyway, long-winded explanation. Go check out Charlton66. Congratulate him on reaching 100 subs. Check out Wolf and Fox 77 Cable Comics. And thank you for watching.